Good afternoon, everyone. Ten years ago, a promising young woman had her life abruptly taken. Chanel Petro Nixon was an honor student at Boys and Girls High School just a few blocks away from here. She came from a beautiful family. She was a daughter of Brooklyn, a member of the Bedford-Stuyvesant community. Chanel had her whole life ahead of her. Chanel's family never stopped searching for answers. This community never stopped searching for the truth. And many of the people standing up here today never stopped fighting for justice for Chanel and her family. And so we stand here today with Chanel's parents, Lucita Petro Nixon and Garvin Nixon, to announce that we are one step closer to achieving justice for Chanel. We are here to announce the indictment of a man who has been charged with, a, with her murder, Veron Primus. This day would not have been possible without the hard work of the NYPD and my office. With me today also is Chief of Detectives, Robert Boyce, the head of Brooklyn North, Chief Jeffrey Madry, members of the NYPD's cold case squad, and prosecutors from my office. This case has been a priority for me as a district attorney. Since I took office, I've met with Chanel's parents, and I made a promise to see this case through. I'm following through on my word. Our prosecutors and investigators working along with the New York City Police Department have worked tirelessly to make sure that this case was solved. Back in August of 2015, my office initiated a discussion with the NYPD about how we could renew our efforts that would lead to the arrest and prosecution of the person responsible for Chanel's death. Thereafter, shortly thereafter, Chief Boyce reassigned this case from the 77th Precinct Detectives to the Cold Case Squad. Finally, 10 years after Chanel was murdered, we are now able to move this case forward to prosecution. Last year, Veron Primus was deported from our country to St. Vincent and the Grenadines for, un for reasons unrelated to this case. And he is now being held in St. Vincent on unrelated charges. It is important for us that we bring Primus back to Brooklyn to face justice. Recently, prosecutors from my office went to St. Vincent and the Grenadines to speak with local authorities there. We are willing to go beyond the borders of Brooklyn to hold anyone accountable who will commit crimes in our community. Now, we're determined to get justice for Chanel in Brooklyn. This defendant has been indicted for murder in the second degree, and we intend to hold him accountable for Chanel's death. The extradition process for an international extradition is lengthy and it is complex, but we've already started taking steps to begin that process, to bring the defendant back to Brooklyn where he belongs. Our office will work with the Department of Justice, Office of International Affairs, and the U.S. State Department to secure Primus's return. Now, we are also standing here together, shoulder to shoulder, as one community, to ask, to really urge anyone who has information about Chanel's disappearance and tragic death to please come forward. Yes. There is absolutely no reason for you to be afraid. And on Saturday, beginning at 11 a.m., in front of 212 Kingston Avenue, where Chanel's body was found. We will join with Chanel's parents, along with the Reverend Tahaka Robinson and the Brooklyn community to rally once again for justice for Chanel. And so I am grateful to everyone who worked on this case for 10 years. And I am determined as the Brooklyn DA 
to get justice for Chanel and her beautiful family. I felt strongly about this case because Chanel was really all of our daughters. I mean, we have to understand that we have an obligation to protect all of our children. It doesn't necessarily have to happen directly to somebody in our family. We should be one community. We should come together to make sure everyone is safe. And so when I became DA, I was determined to build upon the work that was done before me. I didn't start this, but I, I was determined to see it through. And that's why we're standing here today. Rarely do we witness true evil in anybody. Here we witness it in this case. Um, and it's, as Mr. Thompson said, we will go to the ends of the earth to find that person to pull them in. Because we have a lot of cases that we have to move forward. But it's great families like this who drive us even harder to get these, these, uh, these, these perpetrators in custody. So I'm very proud of the, uh, <clears throat> of the cold case squad going down there and doing what they had to do. Good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for coming out. I'm a little nervous, but it's a bittersweet day today for the family. Finally, at least we could see a light at the end of the tunnel. It took 10 years, but all my praise and honor go, especially to my Lord and Jesus Christ. It's through him that I'm here that we are still standing and we have hope that justice, Chanel will get justice hopefully very soon. I want to thank everybody for coming out and for all the prayers and for just being with the family. And again, I want to um, invite everybody to come out to our 10th memorial service on Saturday at 11 a.m. Again, I want to emphasize that there is somebody here in Brooklyn that knows something. And I'm urging them, I'm praying that they will come out and say something. Somebody knows something. Again, I want to say thank you. And as we always say, somebody knows something. And we know justice, no peace. Until we get justice for Chanel, then our job will be over. Thank you so much. This has been a long journey. It has been 10 years. 10 years too long, but we are going to get justice. 10 years ago when I met Mr. and Mrs. Nixon, they didn't know me, I didn't know them, but I promised them that we were gonna get justice for their daughter and 10 years later, we are on our road to justice. Some say that justice delayed is justice denied, but I say that it's never too late for sweet, sweet justice. I wanna thank the hard work of the district attorney's office. I wanna thank NYPD. And while this doesn't take away the pain of losing Chanel, and we can never bring her back, we know that today her soul rests easier. And today we bring her family the closure that they so desperately deserve over the past decade, but it is not over. In order to wrap up this case, we need witnesses. In order to bring a conviction, not just an indictment, we need witnesses. So please contact the proper authorities Please contact the men and women of faith. Please step up. Now is the time to finally bring closure to this case so that Chanel can rest in peace. Thank you. Thanks to Taharka Robertson. We've been coming together to rally and pray for answers and to get to the bottom of this terrible crime. There were years when people would scratch their heads and say, where are the clues, where are the answers? And of course, Chanel's mom saying, please, if you know something, say something. And then suddenly, suddenly, great police work, strong district attorney opens up with a very critical indictment. Now I believe very strongly that an indictment is not a conviction until it is a conviction. So I too want to join the chorus of people who are asking the community as we get together once again on Saturday to step forward, one witness, one bit of information can put this terrible, terrible human being behind bars where he belongs. We aim to live in a community that is peaceful and nonviolent, but it all starts with you. If you see something, it's your duty to say something. Once every community member contributes to protecting their neighborhood, together we make more of a positive difference. My office is always available to aid constituents in their quest to further improve this community, and we urge you to reach out. Let us know what's going on. Together, we can, enforce, we can foster an environment where gruesome murders, such as Chanel Petra Nixon, are non-existent. As we continue to keep the family in our prayers, I ask of you to do all that you can do to protect our community's children.
Thank you. I want to just take a moment to thank every member of the clergy that came out so strong for all of your prayers and your, your, your guidance that helped us get to this point. I want to thank all of the elected officials who are present. I want to thank the 79th precinct and all of the community stakeholders.